Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, why Allah cannot be God? You know, it's it's very funny. Even their videos, the, the the name of the video, the title of the video, have nothing to do with the video itself. That, where is the answer about your God teaching false science? Because if this is false, it means Islam is false. The God who teach that the day and the night they float around, huh? In orbit, he's a false God. Because all of us, we knew that day and night, they happen because the earth is going around itself. There's nothing is called day and night going around something. Anyway, so he decided to prove that uh, I do not know uh, uh, Arabic. And he is going to show you and he is going to teach you why I do not know Arabic. So now he decided to answer me regarding Christian Prince insult Allah. Uh, let me tell you, Mr. Abdul, your God Allah is a joke and we insult Allah for he is Satan now he will show you something amazing discovery you see he's a very powerful man let us see the discovery he found for us let us start from here a little bit assume he's read the Arabic Bible now in front of us are two sections from the Bible one from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament the one from the New Testament is from translations just to make it short, man, this guy is speaking like if as if he's a faucet and the water is dropping drop by drop. How slow you are. What he want to say to you, that in the Bible in here, the word Allah is exist. So why Christian Prince is insulting Allah? Hello? Huh? Christian Prince insulting Allah? Yes, I insult Allah, for Allah is not my God. You idiot. This is a translation, and translation, a translation made to go to the Arab people who live in the Middle East. If the translation, when they, they when they use the word which present God, if they use different word, the Muslim will not allow the book to go through. So the word Allah in here in the translation used as a word mean God, but this is not a name of our God. For you, it's a name. For us in the Middle East, they have no choice except to use the word Allah there, and those translation is made to go to the Middle East, to be in the Middle East, to to be reading in the Middle East. Christians, Arab Christians, under 1400 years of occupation of the filthy Islamic government, which all of you, you know how filthy it is, you know, go and see a Muslim who live in the West, and still he, he live in the West, he live in your country, and still he threat you. So imagine if you lived in their countries. And just to show you the hypocrisy of Muslims, Muslims, they die to make you believe that God, his name is Allah. They die for that. They fight for it. But when they see that that is not working for their benefit they will forbid you from using it and this is the example this is militia the Islamic court made a law forbidding the Christians in there from using the word Allah what is the reason because Allah is not the God of the Christians and it's not exist in their Bible therefore those Christians are not allowed to use the word Allah I'm not the one saying that. This is your Islamic, you know, the, the, the Islamic mullahs. The one who made the law, they forbid the Christian. The Christian in militia who used the word Allah, he go to jail. In the same time, Abdul, you the one who said this is a translation, right? Well, if you go to Filipino uh, Bible, you will see the name of God, or the word of God, so not, not, not name, the word mean God, I have different uh, word. In English, they use the word God. In Arabic, the Arabic Christian, they use the word Allah because they have to, they have no choice. If we free our land from the faith of Islam, I guarantee you that you will not find that word in the translation. But I accept it to be there as long as speaking about God in general, not your God. The same as you, a Muslim, use the word God in English, which the same is used by a Christian, by me. But you know and I know that your God is not my God. A Hindu guy who speaks English, he used the word God in English, but you know and I know and you know and he know that this guy, when he speak about his God, he speak about Krishna, not about my God or your God. So Abdul, try to be smarter. We insult your God for he's a filthy God. And at the same time, I challenge you to find me the word Allah in the Greek Bible, huh? the original script, in the Aramaic Bible, or in the Hebrew Bible. <clears throat> You know, I saw a video made by Abdul saying that the word Allah is exist in the Bible. I challenge you to show it to me. I challenge you to show me the word God as coming as the word Allah in the Bible. I, ch I challenge you. The funny Muslims, they go to the, the, the movie, it's called The Passion of Christ. They see, you know, you know uh, the, the Jesus, he said, Ila. Do you see how stupid they are? Th this is Allah. 
This is about eel. Eel. Isra eel. And actually, as long as I'm talking about this, just let me show you that Islam is a, is a, is a joke. Islam is a lie. Islam is a, is a theft. Muhammad is a thief. I will explain to you with the following. There's many names in the Quran. Huh? And I challenge Muslims to tell me uh, in, in Islamic religion, in the Quran and some other sources like the Hadith, I challenge them where they come with these names from. Those names prove Islam to be false alone. Those names alone. As an example, Gibrail. What Gibrail mean? This is not one word. The thief Muhammad, he do not know that this is two words. This is Gibri and Eel. Eel is the God, the God of the Hebrew people, the God of the Christian people. Israel. This is the, the, the Jacob whose name became Israel, the man of God, the people of God. Eel. Mika Eel. This is Mika of God, Mika of Eel. Israel, Israel supposedly in Islam is the one who take your spirit when you die. You know, he is the one who do death, the angel of death. Israel, huh? You see it? So simply, Eel is God. He is the God of the Hebrew. Now the question, Allah have 99 names. None of them is Eel. But those all belong to Eel. And remember, the one who brought Quran to Muhammad, his name is Jibreel. So he is the angel of who? He is the angel of the God Eel, the God of the Christians, not the God of, uh, the, of, of the Muslims. So from where Muhammad he got this Eel from? If Eel is the most important name of this God, you can tell it's very important because here we go, Jibra Eel, Ezra Eel, Mika Eel, Ezra Eel, huh? Isra Eel, there's many names in Islamic religion. Israfil is the one who protect the Quran. He have it between his eyebrow, and the distance between his eyebrow is the same distance between the the, end, the, the, the east and the west. This is how big his eyebrow alone. And he have the Quran between his eyes, and the reason because Allah he don't allow him to read it, which is very funny. And his job is to protect the Quran. Mm -hmm. True story. Now, as long you 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 know your God, the thief, the Muhammad, he is agreeing that those are those belong to the God Eel. Then how you explain to me that your God Eel is not one of them? If your God is Eel, how you how come Allah have 99 names, none of them is Eel? If we go right now and check the 90 names of Allah, 99 names, <clears throat> let us do it. This is your Islamic website. Huh? Show me which one of them is Eel. I want to see it. Zero. Bingo. Do you see any eel? I challenge you to find it. So eel is not one of them, but those are people who belong to eel. So your stupid prophet, he stole the story from the Bible. He stole the names from the Bible and he forgot the idiot because he's ignorant. He do not know that those are not one word. He thought that Israel is a name of a person huh? and that's it. This is one name. He do not need to know what it means. He do not know that this is two words. Isra and Eel. Jibra and Eel. Mika and Eel. Isra and Eel. So when he stole the names, he exposed himself. So I am the one who teach you Arabic, Abdul. You don't want to teach me Arabic? You want to tell me all this life I am an Arab person? I do not know that the Arab Christians, they use in their translation the word Allah. It's a translation, Abdul. And we do not mean your God. Very fair for very simple. You know, the the in, in, in his video, in his video, the, the, the smart Muslim, he quote for us John 3.16. John 3.16, it says that because I, I, I will go with him, because God he sent his only begotten son to save the world. Now, do you Muslims believe that let us assume that this is Allah, huh? Abdul? Do you Muslims believe that Allah have a son? You will say no. So it cannot be the same Allah you eat it, if, even if the same word. Let us assume that we Christian we use the same word. Your God do not have a son. Our God have a son. So you see how stupid you are? Like can you find me once ever a Muslim? He don't have a tail. Is your God Allah the Father? No. You will say no. Our God the Father. So our God is not Allah. 
This is a translation. If I read the Bible in different translation, the word will be different. In Filipino, it's different. In Russian, will be different. In, in, in Armenia, will be different. In Arabic, they use the word Allah simply because this is what is allowed. And Christians have no choice. Our God, His heaven, do not have virgins who you will have sex with. We don't have boys who are going to be our slaves forever. God will not do that. Is that right to make us a, a, a slave child for you forever, for eternity? And how many? 70,000 child for each one of you? So Abdul, if we have the same God, Abdul, huh? how come we have different heaven? How, we ha how come we have different value? How come your God says you can beat your wife and your wife is a sex toy? My God says the opposite. When you marry a woman, you will become one with her. We have diff you know, if we have the same God, we will not make fun of your God. Your God is a Satan. Wake up and stop attaching your God to our God. I know you are ashamed of your God. This is why you are trying to look for an uncle for him. You are trying to find a sponsor for your God because he is a lonely, stupid God. I remember a Muslim, uh, uh, he, he made a video, his name is Saifu, uh, Saifu uh, the, the Sword of Allah. Huh? Uh, he said, he left Islam, he said, well, what kind of God, huh? he created me to worship him. Are you a lonely God? This is absolutely true. Even your God, the reason for him to create you is to worship him. This is the only reason. He's a lonely God trying to play chess. He's bored. My God, He loved the world. And you are the one who quote for me John 3.16. You see the difference? Your God do not love the world. Your God, He hate the world. Your God, He want to bloodshed. He want to kill everybody. He want to punish people by the hand of Muslims. He want to spread blood and hate and enmity as we see in the Quran. As we see in this filthy verse. Your God is Satan. Look at this God, guys. From those who, too who call themselves Christians, we did take covenant but they forgot a good part of the message that we send them so we string them look at this with enmity and hatred between one and another what a filthy perverted God his job is to spread the hate and enmity between people let us assume that those Christians they forgot a good part of it you see he said forgot forgot is not a crime you idiot If you are saying to me, your God, Allah, he used the wrong word, it means he is a stupid God, same time. If he says he changed it, you see, your God, he said, forgot. They forgot. Even if they forgot, forgetting is not a crime, because your God, Allah himself, he forget too. I can show you from the Quran. Allah, he said, the one who forget me, I forget him. They forgot. They forgot what? The teaching. The good part of it. So what Allah will do, instead of correcting them, instead of helping them, what he do? He is string them with hate and enmity. Between who? Between one to each other. Your God, Allah, want to spread hate and filth in this earth. And isn't it, this is what Satan do? And the funny, your God in the Quran says that the one who spread hate is Satan. But at the same time, we find that it's Allah. Chapter 5, verse number 91. It says that the one who want to spread the hate between each other is Satan. But we just showed you chapter 5 verse 14 it says the one who want to do that is Allah huh read it it is shaitan Sat is shaitan Satan's plan uh, to, to excite enmity and hatred between you and we showed you Allah saying in chapter 5 verse 14 Allah will spread hate and enmity and it's exactly the same sentence it's exactly the same so your God Allah and the shaitan is one so do you see now where we make fun of your God he is an evil God. Follow with me with more videos, and I hope soon we will have our website, The Deception of Allah, ready for video, and it's going to have only my video. If you care for support, you can go to Debate TV, and you can make a donation there to support us in our mission. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that.